So the concept behind this is to help with on-screen reading when someone can't remember what phonemic sound belongs to what letter form. By clicking on the letter form that they cannot remember the phonemic sound to, they can get a visual and auditory clue. After watching it perform and hearing the onomatopoeia sound, they realize that the phonemic sound that belongs to this letter form is B. Here, the same situation is. We're reading and we don't remember, so we roll over it for a visual cue. We hear the onomatopoeia sound and watch it perform. And the phonemic sound related to this letter form is P. This is using a series of still images that build a direct relationship with the letter forms. By clicking through these images, you can get clues as to what phonemic sound belongs to this letter form. If you say the um, pictures aloud, you can hear the common sound. Peach, P. The common sound here is P. This deals with orthographic patterning. They can't remember how the vowel sounds, so they need a clue. Just by rolling over the letter form that they're struggling to remember the rule for, they begin to see the relationship with the other. When E is at the end of the word, the vowel sound long. However, they're still in need of more of a direct or literal cue. So they click on it and watch it animate. The O is moving long, while the E goes back, which means that it's silent. But it's building relationship. The E is silent because the O is long so the letter form draws it back there. Once they've received their clue and now knows how the letter form is supposed to be said, they can put their clue away and keep on reading online.